Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. <laughs> You're making me laugh already. <laughs> I just started. David's sitting over here. He's my assistant off camera today. So, um, hi. Welcome. If you are not mm -hmm. new here, thank you for coming back. No, I just got really confused though. Anyway, hi. So, I've got plant mail. Today is, um, what's today? Thursday? Sure. May 19th. 19th. Here's a so I have some more mail coming in a couple of days, but I wanted to open these with you guys. Oh, and my sweatshirt is from Hello Fancy Plants. I have it linked down below if you're interested. Okay. This is bothering me. So I have a box here, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think I know what it is. These are all either trades or plants that people just sent me because they're the sweetest human beings ever and I can't handle it. So I think this is one, oh yeah, it literally says live plants on it. The arrows are pointing up. Does that mean I should open this side? I really wish they would tell me which side I'm supposed to open. Right? It feels like this yeah. side. The sticker was on the other side though. Usually the shipping label is on the top of the box. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm pretty sure this one is from my friend Adina and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And I'm pretty excited about it and I wanna see your reaction to it really badly. <laughs> because I've seen these in the nurseries before if you guys watch my plant shopping videos and I have said that I wanted one but I was looking for just the right one and I um, was trying to convince you that we should get one and that you would like it. Because it's a hanging basket. Packaged nicely, I don't actually know where this came from, but I'll get the shop name from her and um, leave it for you guys if you're interested. Papers. a lot of papers okay I think this is the pot oh there's a little card in here you want to take the box for me assistant thank you here's the plant um there's a card though I'm gonna look and see what that says first it says love you doll Adina she's so cute it must be from Etsy because I think this is one of like you can choose to send a gift, like send it as a gift. She's so freaking cute, I can't stand so, it. So then I do know what this is while well, I did. It's hanging. Very excited. You're not as excited as I am. No, to see it. Hmm. I don't want to get dirt on the couch. Pop the sister out. What do you mean? Take the tape off so I can actually open this plant. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Woo! There it is, all packed up. I'm just going to do it over here so I don't get dirt on the carpet. I mean, on the mm -hmm. sofa. It's going to get on the carpet. It's in a plastic thing. If I can manage not to break the plastic, I man might manage not to get dirt everywhere. Okay. Took out the fluke. <clears throat> and here it is. Um, it's a Ripsalis that I don't remember the name of. But it's really cool. We gotta put the hanging things on it yeah, and put it somewhere. Okay, so fun thing about Ripsalis is that they are jungle cacti and they grow, I think, if I'm not mistaken, more like underneath uh, bushy, jungly foliage. So unlike other cacti, they're not actually fans of super bright direct light from what I've experienced anyway. So 
we're gonna have to play with this one. Look at this one. It's crazy. I love it. It's wild. I know, but it's gonna look so cool hanging somewhere. You know <laughs> it is. So we're just gonna have to find somewhere cool to hang this. And um, I'll let you guys know where we end up putting it. Cause I feel like this is just like a statement plant. I love it. I like it. It's crazy. Okay. Next package. This one is from one of one of my plant friends on Instagram. I forget who. Huh? Oh, I forget who <laughs> sent me what. Because one of them is a trade and one is just a gift. I think this one is the trade, maybe. I feel like the other one's probably bigger. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, there we go. Okay, yes, this one's from Carly. Thanks for trading with me again. So, I don't remember what I sent her. Because my brain hurts right now. But I sent her some cute little, oh, I sent her a Hoya Obscura little baby plant, some cuttings, and maybe something else, I don't remember. And she sent me a floof. <laughs> it looks funny, right? It's the wily floof plant. This is, oh my gosh, cuttings from her Hoya Bella. They're so pretty. She said she was gonna send them to me long. I said, perfect, I want my plant trailing. I have a little baby plant, and I wanted to make it bigger, so super cute these are really pretty when they trail and they will bloom for you lots if mm. they're happy so get this thing rooted and happy oh it already has a peduncle see it <laughs> they a peduncle cute they have to be very careful not to knock it off <clears throat> but they will produce oh there's another one at the end of this one too see that's what i'm saying like that's like my lacunosa almost every vine that i cut has a peduncle Pedunks. on it yeah, same with the species Affinity Bertoniae. So, super cute. That's all she sent me, but she sent me a good portion of it, so I'm not mad about it. The plant that I have already, baby plant from her that I started from, sm way smaller cuttings than this, was from her, if I didn't say that already. I feel like I said that in my explanation of that, but that's fine. So, all of my Hoya Bella is from her, so I'm excited to get this rooted and then eventually pot it up with that one. That one's finally growing now too. And once these get growing, they really take off. Mm. Fast growing Hoya for sure. Not mad about it. When she wanted to trade for something, I was like, honestly, I'd be <laughs> very happy with more Bella. So anyway, thank you, Carly. I appreciate you. And then that means this one is from Ashley. Ashley's Jungle. <laughs> I only remember because it's like Jacqueline's Jungle. And Ashley's Jungle. Oh, and then Carly is Sacred Jungle. We're all in the jungle. Everybody's got a jungle. We're in the jungle. <clears throat> but they're super sweet. You guys should definitely go follow them on Instagram. Just because they're super sweet. I, I just don't... cut the ends. But like... If this is the top of the box. Huh? That's the top of the box. Oh. It doesn't matter. You're confused. Oh, we're gonna need to get you the fingers. Okay. I am fine. I know how to open boxes. <laughs> That's the bottom. That works. Okay. Well, here's the bottom of the box. <laughs> I see some perlite and some moss. This one is. I don't know. Some sort of philodendron. Right? You look more floof. More floof. I know, I gotta save the floof. Um, and this one, oh god, it's so pretty. <gasps> this is a philodendron, right? I don't know the name. Plant. <laughs> philodendron. Plant. With ears. Um, super cute. She told me. I can't Ooh. remember because that's how good my memory is. It was not even a week ago. Plenty. This is the one that I was originally looking for because I had it on my wish list and it's the Amplissimum Silver. 
right? Look at that. Look at those leaves. Look at them. They're really cool. I think this is a super underrated plant and it's got some new growth. Cute. Definitely gonna get these sprayed down with some Captain Jacks and into the greenhouse, like ASAP. So cute. Look at the, it gets even more silvery mm -hmm. as it matures. We have these like long, narrow leaves with like silver. It's pretty. It's cool, right? Mm -hmm. Cute. Thank you, girl. Ooh. She's so sweet to just send me these mm -hmm. and not want anything in return. With Adina, it's different because we just regularly send each other shit back and forth anyway. So I don't, you know what I mean? I don't feel the need to argue about it <laughs> because I love sending people plants and it's so hard for me to just like accept gifts without giving them in return because I'm definitely more of a giver than a receiver. So that is it. But we did also go to world market this morning and I picked up some cute little pots that I wanted to show you guys really quickly just because I felt like showing you really quickly because we're sitting right here and I thought it would be fun. This be the first one because I like that like mustard yellow color and it's glazed. I don't usually like glazed but I like the little drippy dots. Does that make sense? I'm very good with my descriptive You're words. So <laughs> Drippy dots, Psh, whatever. I can write a book too. $9.99 for this one, and it's cute. You guys can't tell I like this um, <laughs> yellow color. We just got a new carpet in here too. And then this one, I have a little pot of this, and it's one of my favorites for like my baby Hoya. So when I saw a bigger one, I absolutely needed it. And I don't usually like gold, but this isn't like super goldy gold. And it's got like that texture that I like and that kind of like vanilla bean vibe. And I like that it's kind of messy the way it's painted on. It looks hand painted. I'm into that. So, and this one was $7.99 from World Market. Super cute. I'm not mad about it. I have more plant mail coming Saturday. So I'm going to leave you guys here until then. We're going to pick back up in a couple of days from now. I think that's the 20th. Um, no. 21st. 21st. Right. We're not going to be here, but we're going to pick up the mail. And it'll probably be later in the day when I open it with you. But I've got some Hoyas. <laughs> I ordered more Hoyas. From Lighthouse Hoya and the plant nurse on Etsy. So you guys watched my last, if you watched my last Hoya haul video, I'll link it for you here if you haven't, then um, you would have already seen me buy Hoyas from these shops. So I'm excited though, because they're like plants that I've been wanting. I, I try really hard not to unless it's a good deal and it's one that I've had my eye on anyway. Do you feel me? Anyway, so I'm gonna go for now. You wanna say bye from over there? Bye from over there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Oh. Hey plant fam! Welcome back. I'm back. It's Saturday, May 21st. We just got back from my niece's second birthday party and it was really really hot out but she's adorable so it's fine. And I got plant mail. So, I've got Hoyas. David's gonna come through the door any second now. And I forgot to bring over something to open these with again. Shocking. Oh, that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let me get scissors. Okay, we got scissors. Yes, I'm wearing a dress. I know, it's weird. I don't usually wear them. But it was really hot out and um, none of my shorts fit me. So that's fun. Anyway, so I've got a package here from Lighthouse Hoya, and then I have another one from The Plant Nurse on Etsy. I really loved my plants from The Plant Nurse. They are doing very, very well. So this is my second order with her. And I don't even know how many times I've ordered from Lighthouse Hoya. I'm just glad that I actually was able to retrieve this. So I was in New York this morning, but we left to go to the birthday party 
And then we're up in Connecticut now. Girl, what are you doing? She's gotta like inspect everything that I bring in here. Um, typical cat behavior. But, so they accidentally shipped this to New York and I was really worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get it. But literally as I was walking out of my door, out of my mom's door, it's not, I don't really live there anymore. At least not if in a couple of weeks I won't. So um, the male guy was literally walking towards me with the package. I was like, is that my package? He was like, haul? I'm like, yes, perfect timing. And then we had a funny little exchange. I made him laugh. But anyway, I'm glad I was able to get this because this is not quite a wishlist Hoya, but it's close. And I did order the other one. You'll see what I mean if you watched my... Hoya wishlist video. You'll know what I mean as well. Don't stab yourself in the leg with scissors, Jackie. I'm very excited about this. Not gonna lie. <laughs> they made me laugh because they sent me a DM. In my videos, I always joke that they send me pencils and I don't have a pencil sharpener. <laughs> So he sharpened it for me. <laughs> it's really cute. It says Lighthouse Hoya. Um, grow with light and love. Super cute. Really, really nice people. I'll have to send him a message and let him know that I was able to grab it. Um, please enjoy your new plant, baby. I sharpened the pencil since you don't have a sharpener. Hi. Hi. Do you know how I always joke whenever I open these boxes that I don't have a pencil sharpener right. he sharpened it for me he goes p.s i sharpened the pencil since you don't have a sharpener <laughs> isn't that funny they're really nice people family owned business definitely recommend checking hey, them out hey plant fam so ooh, oh it's so cute it's so cute Ooh, it's long. Girl, you got tendrils. That's something that I like about their plants. <laughs> they always have new growth. Look at them, they're huge. Put this oh, up wow. on a stake or a trellis and it'll start growing like crazy. Um, they do with their plants what I try to do with mine, I think, and wait until they have signs of new growth before they sell them. Not always an option, unfortunately, but it's what I would prefer. And they always, they ship them in a really nice mix so I don't have to worry about repotting it. I just spray them down with Captain Jacks to be safe. I do that with every single plant that I receive. If I notice any signs of mealybugs, because that's a thing with Hoyas, it doesn't matter how good the seller is, there's just mealybugs on Hoyas. So I'll use alcohol to spray that down if necessary, but um, most of the time they don't, not from them anyway, they don't come with Mealy. So this is the Hoya Verticalata, but it's also called Acuta and Parasitica. It's super confusing. Most of the time I see it listed as Hoya Acuta variegated. This is the Albo Marginata. Um, if you guys saw my wish list video, you know that I wanted the one with the inner variegation, but when I saw this one with the outer variegation with all this new growth for such a good price, and I trust them that they have really happy, healthy, Hoyas and they ship well. I just, I couldn't say no. I mean, why would I? Look at these leaves. They're beautiful. Meow. <laughs> Stunning. Can't wait to watch it grow. Okay, that's all I got from Lighthouse Hoya. Definitely go check them out on Instagram. It's just at Lighthouse Hoya. And then the next one is from Etsy, from the plant nurse, and I'm excited because there's wish list plants in here too. Um, I just didn't actually have this on my wish list, but it was still on like my other list, if that makes sense. I have a list on my phone of Hoyas that I want, but I only chose like a handful of them for my Hoya wish list video because it would have been an hour long if I left them all on there. But it's funny because the list is kind of old and when I look at it now, like I have more than 75% of them. So I'm going to have to make a new list. If you guys have a rare Hoya that you love, that you think I don't have, leave it in the comments because 
I want to check it out and probably buy one. Okay. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. You have a way of problem. Shh. It's not a problem. Oh, wait. I don't think this is a plant. These are pots. Where's the other plant? It said it was delivered. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to open these boxes. I mean, these pots. This is from Jofamy. Jo I don't know how to say it. They reached out and wanted to send me free pots. So I thought the address looked funny and that it was a big box for a couple of Hoya, little baby Hoya plants. Anyway, let's open this up and then I'll figure it out because it said delivered and it wasn't delivered to New York. So, hopefully we can figure that out, but, um, I'll show you these pots in the meantime. Ugh, styrofoam everywhere. This is the one thing I hate about ordering pots online. You can't avoid the styrofoam, or else they break. Oh, cute. Okay, we're getting styrofoam everywhere, but that's fine. I really thought I grabbed all the boxes. Maybe it was under underneath. I don't know. I get nervous sometimes with this building because we're like on the third floor and there's lots of people here in and out so I like to keep track of exactly when things are delivered so that they're not sitting down there but we weren't here when it got delivered. These are really cute. There's another small one in there. Um, they have drainage and no, so, oh, here we go. They have butt plugs. Sorry, that's what I call them. <laughs> they have plugs. Um, so that's good. I can actually pot something directly in here. Although it's kind of, it's kind of glazed. Oh my God, I can't get it out. Mm, it's so tight. He said, anyway, my, my brain is all over the place today. So here's a little baby one. Oh, I don't know, like four inches, maybe three, four inches, and this is probably like six. I'm guessing. But they're really cute. 5.38 and 4.35, so that was kind of close, I guess. Anyway, um, this is the company. If you guys want to check it out, I am going to pause you here for a moment. Actually, let's look at the Hoya inside a pot. <laughs> She's cute. She's super cute. I'm not mad about it at all. Uh, I'm going to leave you here for right now until I figure out where the other package is. I'm literally covered in like little styrofoam bits. Plant mail. Where was it? In the mailbox. Oh, geez. They shoved it in the mailbox? Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Good timing. <laughs> I didn't have to pause you. I lied. Um, okay, so this is from the plant nurse. Okay, it says the plant nurse. I was like, that's not back to the chaotic unboxing. We got plant mail. We got plant mail. Plant, plant, plant mail. Right. Ooh, there's really beautiful plants in here. Okay. I have this one in particular <laughs> in my cart. <laughs> you look like the plant Grinch. The way you just walked like that. Um, I have this one in my cart, like I said seven times now, for a minute. And then I just, I kind of pulled the plug because she does, um, or pulled the trigger. Pull the plug is not the right it's phrase the for Perfect. that. Yeah. I'm really good at phrases. <laughs> I'm really bad at phrases. I was, what were we watching? Oh, it was the trial where the, where his, like, ex from, like, or not even, the, the one he had a sexual relationship with. Ellen Barkin. She, she was so, who? Ellen Barkin. Ellen Barkin. I don't know who that is. I'm a little too young to know who she is. Wow. Okay. I don't think I've seen anything that she's in, was she's in, except for Fear and, Loath Fear and Loathing. Yeah, yeah but to try and follow that storyline is, like, it's not a story. Yeah, it's really it's not. Strange. Right. It's confusing. The movie is less confusing than the book, though. The book, you're just like, whose perspective am I even seeing the story through right now? Because he jumps around the whole time. Well, that's what drugs. It's very confusing. <laughs> anyway, what was my point to that? Um, your bad phrases. Like, oh, she like, said something and everybody was like, 
I've never heard that <laughs> phrase before. He, he switched the buttons on me, she said. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? Anyway, um, let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in us doing a live stream where we talk more about the trial because we're kind of obsessed with it and I need to do a live stream soon and I think that might be a fun topic. Justice for Johnny. I'm just saying. Okay, we're no opinions, okay? <laughs> we're supposed to be neutral. Yeah, but it's pretty easy to tell. So I just think it could be a fun like psychology discussion really is what it is. So this is the Hoya Fitchia. You guys look at how cute it is. It's so veiny. You know, it's not big. It's little and veiny, but that's okay. It'll get bigger. And um, it's got a new little tendril. It's nicely rooted in the moss here, but I am just, I like to leave them in whatever they were rooted in for a while until they get acclimated. And then I decide if I want to repot it. But this one is the one I had. It's so pretty. I had it in my cart for a while and I was just like, screw it. It's the Hoya Michelle Splash. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is really bad. I'll turn the camera around and show you guys. The plants close up um, when I'm done but look at the splash on these leaves. So I have a regular Hoya Michelle and I love it. I think it's really, really cute. I like the shape of the leaves. I like the veining, how it gives it almost like little dimples. So when I saw this splashy one, I just had to have it. And something that I like about the plant nurse on Etsy is that you can pick the exact specimen that you want. She has everything listed separately, um, which I sort of do. I at least will allow you to choose like which cutting you want when you check out if they're different if they're all kind of look the same then it doesn't really matter but I enjoy being able to know exactly what specimen I'm getting and to pick the one that I like the most so that brings me joy so I try to give you guys the same opportunities so that is all I got from her definitely recommend her shop she has really good prices and she does sales I think like over the weekend or towards the end of the week I think to try and clear out some inventory it's only like 10 percent off or something but it's better than nothing so definitely go and check her out and um I'm obs I don't even know which one I'm more obsessed with right now but that's okay and um, I'm gonna shut up now but I appreciate you fam and I hope that you enjoyed this little collective unboxing. I'm going to show you where we hung up the Ripsalis as well. What other plant mail did I get? I'm going to have to look back and make sure that I showed you. <laughs> My brain, I can't even remember. I don't even know. It's fine. I have more coming. I have a huge import coming, so stay tuned because that's probably going to be one of the videos you see next. And um, I hope you're not tired of Hoya unboxings. <laughs> The next one is exciting though. They're big and veiny and crusty. All good things. Crusty Hoyas. Yay. Hashtag Crusty Hoya. Anyway, I'm going to go. I appreciate you, fam. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you, you don't miss, miss anything, anything from, from me. me. I felt like you staring at me. <laughs> um, there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam come and join our group chat hang out get to know the fam make some new friends um there's a super thanks button that's new it's a little heart or the money symbol in it if you want to give a little bit of a donation to my channel you can do it that way youtube makes it really easy for you so yeah i think that's it go follow our channel too if you're not yeah, we're we're so gonna easy. film stuff soon i swear maybe We've been a little crazy with the move, but you guys know that already. So I'm going to shush, um, and I love you, fam, and I will, what'd you do? Okay. See you in the next one, okay? <laughs>